this is one crazy story that was on the channel before I took it down. This story is called wife of almost 23 years was caught cheating with the running partner. <laughs> this is the first time I have posted on a forum. So I don't know if this is the right place. My wife is fairly fit, runs all the time. She exercises a lot and looks amazing for her age. We are both 51 and I met my wife in high school and we dated for a little while, but then we split and went our separate ways. After high school, she went to college and I took over my dad's business. My dad owned 10 gas stations in our area. Rumor had it, she got married to a guy right out of college, but that marriage only lasted five years or so. So one day a friend had to get together with everyone in the neighborhood. This is when I saw her again. When I saw her, we both smiled and gave each other a hug. I asked her, I thought she was still living in Ohio. She graduated from Ohio State and that's where she met her now ex-husband. She said when she divorced her ex-husband, she came back home. She wanted to be closer to her parents here in North Carolina, but she got a job offer at a big computer tech firm here. So she accepted the offer. As time went on, we saw more and more of each other. And then it happened. We went on one of our dates, went back to her place, and we were intimate. Fast forward a year, we were married. A few years into the marriage, everything was great. We made time for each other, went on vacations together. Our marriage flowed. She was a runner, even in high school. She ran, me, I didn't run with her. I went to the gym every so often, not a lot, but enough, I guess. We don't have kids. My wife wasn't able to have them due to a medical issue. As years passed, her job is the same. I am making rounds at the gas stations, checking on them. She was working a tad bit longer hours at this firm, or so I thought. <laughs> My wife ran in the morning and she ran at night, usually about 30 to 45 minutes each time. That's a lot of running if you ask me. I could see walking twice a day, but running? She joined a running club about 10 years into the marriage and she loved it. She was always meeting new friends and running in different races. I never really thought anything of it until one day I decided to run with her just to see what the big deal was. We went out on a Sunday morning for her normal route and I ran behind her. I couldn't keep up with her. She was too fast for me. We got back to the house and I asked her, how often do you run with someone? She told me usually by herself or with the running club on group runs. I then asked her about her running partner. She told me she didn't have one. I then said, I thought you always ran with someone. I didn't press, I left it at that. As time went on, I started to notice she was coming home later and later from her runs. And I asked her about it. She told me she was running with someone from the running club. I then said to her, I thought you didn't have a running partner. She then said, I do now. She then went on to say his name is Tim and he is really fast and he pushes her to run faster and she loves running with him. Right then and there, I immediately became suspicious. I had a feeling something was going on, but I didn't want to confront her about it because I didn't want to come across as being jealous or controlling. A few weeks go by and I am still suspicious of what is going on. So I decided to follow her one day when she went for her run. The beauty of my job is sometimes we get cars to work on or we end up fixing cars people can't pay for. So that means I can drive a car that she doesn't recognize and she won't be suspecting anything. I follow her to this park and I see her meet up with this guy. They start running and they are laughing and joking around and it looks like they might be flirting a little but I can't be sure. I followed them for about 30 minutes and they are still running and talking and they head back to his house. I question in my head, why are they going back to his house? <laughs> At that point, I figured she was probably having an affair with him, but I still didn't want to confront her about it because I didn't want to be wrong. A few more weeks go by and I have been following her on her runs and she always ends up at his house. Sometimes she is there for a couple of hours. Other times it's just under an hour. She would come home and say her run was good. They took a new route, all BS. I knew what was going on, but I didn't want to say anything 
because I wanted to catch her red-handed. I then decided to follow her one early morning when she said she was going for a run with Tim. I followed them again to the park and they ran their usual route and ended up at his house again, but I never saw them touch each other or anything, so I really couldn't prove anything, but I knew in my heart she was cheating on me. Then it finally happened on this day. She got up early like she normally does, but this time she sprayed a little perfume on, not a lot, but a little. I pretended to be asleep. I thought to myself, that's odd. You are going on a run. What do you need perfume on for? She has never done that. <laughs> At this point, I made it a point to record all of this with my phone. She then left for her run, and again, I followed her, but this time, he wasn't with her. She ran the usual route. This time, when she went to his house, he was waiting for her at the door. They hugged each other and kissed each other. Then he reaches around and grabs her butt, and all of a sudden, he looks up and starts looking around. At that point, I didn't want to be seen, and I had seen enough. I went home and just tried to gather my thoughts on what I should do next. I was devastated, hurt, and angry. I then decided to confront her about it, and I showed her the video footage, and she couldn't deny it. She then said she was sorry and that it just happened, and that she loved me, but she wasn't in love with me. Mm. Guys, when a woman tells you that, she loves you but isn't in love with you, run for the hills. When she said that to me, my whole mindset shifted. I wasn't hurt anymore, I was angry. I told her, okay. I then looked at her and said, you need to leave and you need to leave now. You will not stay in this house while you are cheating on me. She says, I am not going anywhere. I said, okay. I walked away, walked to my safe and pulled out my firearm, pointed it at her and said, pack your stuff. She was gone within 45 minutes. Later that day, I called a lawyer to see what my options were for divorce here in North Carolina. It's not that simple to just get a divorce. You have to have grounds for divorce. The lawyer said in order to get a divorce on the grounds of infidelity, I would need to prove that she was intimate with someone else outside of our marriage. I told him I had video footage of my wife kissing another man and him feeling her up. He said that would be enough to prove she was unfaithful. I asked the attorney about spousal support. I told him I earn about 300,000 per year managing all the gas stations and my wife does work and he said in north carolina the courts usually look at infidelity as a basis for divorce he also dropped a bomb on me the lawyer said based on what you have told me you could sue the man your wife was cheating with for alienation of affection and you could also sue him for criminal conversation which is a felony in north carolina i don't believe it's a criminal complaint i think it's a civil complaint. The attorney then asked me, are you sure you want to go that route? I said, absolutely. I want to send a message that his behavior will not be tolerated and I will not be taken advantage of. After the conversation with the attorney, I went ahead and filed for divorce. The attorney said that my soon to be ex-wife will be served at her parents. That's where she is staying. A few weeks passed and my soon to be ex-wife sends me a text saying, she has hired some movers to come get the rest of her things. The only thing I said was what time they needed to be here. I didn't engage with her at all. She just needs to be out of my life and fast. A few weeks go by and my attorney says my soon to be ex-wife was served and the divorce hearing is in a few weeks. At the hearing, my ex-wife didn't get anything. She was asking for spousal support, but the judge said Based on the fact that she committed adultery here in the state of North Carolina, she is not entitled to anything. I have since filed a lawsuit against a man my wife was cheating with. I caught a lot of criticism for pulling a firearm on my ex-wife, but I wasn't going to harm her. I just wanted to scare her so she could leave the house. Since the divorce, I have not seen or heard from my ex-wife. I don't think you will. I heard from her parents that she might be leaving the state. Anyways, I appreciate everyone's input. Yep, pulling a firearm, in my opinion, probably wasn't a good move, but at least he didn't harm her.